Hello and welcome to a new video about measurement. This time we are going to talk about the access control of a bus system. You know, a bus system, we have a shared communication media, somehow we have to determine who is allowed to talk, not able to talk. Able are all, that's the problem. Yeah? They are all able to talk. And how is it managed that only one member, one node, is talking and the others are listening? Yeah? What possibilities are there? Well, one, comparable to the classroom, yeah, there's a primary secondary system. Okay? At least this is how it should be. I, thought, I know it's not always the case, yeah? but there is a dedicated primary and the others are secondaries. primary and secondary system. What does it mean? One dedicated primary station is handling the information flow. So the primary information, the primary station is telling every secondary station, now it's your turn. Please speak now or next time I call you. Okay, so we have one, one dedicated primary and this one is handling the handling the, the communication. And it's calling every secondary periodically. This thing is called polling. Polling mechanism. The primary is polling the secondaries. Now you, now you, now you, now you, okay? This is how this is handled. Huh? Problem is, you have, that, that the primary has to know that the secondary is there, otherwise it will not call. Yeah? If somebody is in the, inside the classroom, the teacher will never call this person if he doesn't know he is there. Well, that's very fictional, but, you know, if there is somebody in there who is not in a list or something like this, maybe it's getting lost. Yeah? So this is, there is some, some handling necessary. Primary, secondary system. Yeah? Then we have a thing, this is called token passing. In token passing, every station is the same. Uh, however, there's only one so-called token. Uh, this is some words that I guess a speech medal, a speech allowance. Uh, every station is the same. All equal station stations, but only one so-called token. This token is handled through the stations and only the station which is handy which is which is having the token is allowed to speak yeah so only the station which is currently owning this token is allowed to send, or retired send, because it's a more technical term than speak. Yeah? It's allowed to send. When it's done sending, it will hand over the token to the next station. Yeah? However, you know, it's like in life. There are always stations, there are always in life persons, who think they are that important and talk constantly never stop talking, yeah? because they always have something to tell. 
This is in technical system not very different, you know, if there is a technical system and it thinks this this one, what I have to tell now is very important, it will simply not shut up. Alright, so and if it gets the token, it will talk and talk and talk and talk and talk and will simply not pass the token. This is prohibited, yeah, because, you know, there is a maximum time, even, and if it's really that important, yeah, after a certain amount of time, the token has to be passed to the next station, regardless of what else this one node still had to send, all right? So, after sending... Or reaching a maximum allowed sending time. Huh? The token is passed to the next node. And so every node in the chain is going around in a circle. Every node inside the circle has the possibility to send, to give its information, and the others are listening as always possible. This is token passing. Yeah. So here I don't have a dedicated primary, a dedicated a uh, node which handles the communication. Here this communication is handled and I only have to, to uh, touch one node wherever I want to get in. All right? I have to tell this node, do not, this is not your next node now, the new node is the next node and the new node tell you, take this next node from this and we already ex extended our circle of token. Okay? Token passing. Yeah. And then there is a thing which is called right which color here. Carrier sense multiple access collision detection. Alright. What does this mean? Yeah. The communication then works in several ways. This CS means carrier sense. Before the attempt to send, is checked if the line is occupied is already occupied. Okay? So, you know, it's polite. Yeah? If I want to tell you something, I have to hear if somebody else is already telling something. Huh? Then I shut up and wait. Okay? This is carrier sense. Is there somebody talking? If not, no, okay, I access, yeah, I have multiple access, MA, multiple access, all stations are allowed to access the media. Okay. So I grab it. I make carrier sense. Nobody's talking. I make access. I start to talk. Huh? And then there is a CD collision detection. This basically means I start to talk and I check if I understand myself. Right? I'm a collision detection. Uh, check. Check if two stations are sending 
at the same time. Okay. Basically, you can think about it, you're talking and you do not understand yourself. Uh, then probably somebody else is talking e equally loud as you. Collision detection. If a collision is detected, uh, then stop communication uh, and wait. Wait a random amount of time. That's important, a random amount of time. Yeah? And then start again. Carrier sense, multiple access, and so on. Yeah? So if collision is detected, stop send, wait a random time, to restart, try. Okay. So waiting a random time to restart the try, then we make carrier sense and so on. Okay. So this is this does not mean anything. It can just can add a new node, okay. and this will handle. Is the something? And then blah, 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 blah. this is working. I mean, totally unmanaged, right? However. Uh, there is also a downside here. This one here is not real-time capable. If we are not lucky, yeah, if we really have bad luck, then every time I try to send something, somebody else is already talking or is talking at the same time. It is not... It is just random when I can deliver my message. This is, you know, it can differ from immediately to whenever, right? So this system here, this is not real-time. The other ones, they are real-time. No? Even in case every station is, is, has a lot of data to tell, yeah? then I can tell the worst-case scenario, yeah? when the station is will be able to send again. Here I can tell this, huh? because there's the maximum, there's this timeout, maximum allowed sending time, there is a number of nodes, so I can tell how many, how many seconds or how many milliseconds it might take to, that all stations might send. Also here, I know how many stations, I can adjust at the primary, how long is a station allowed to talk, because the primary can immediately stop a station and say, okay, thank you. Now, next one, yeah, like in the parliament, yeah, with this red light, maximum allowed speaking time, over, next one. Yeah, yeah. this this is how those things are working. Yeah. A lot of times in, in field bus, where a lot of times we have primary secondary systems or token passing systems simply because they are real time and it is important, it is really important that we do, uh, every station is allowed to, to pass its information. Yeah? Even it's an, a minor station, but we need to get measurement or whatever, we need to get information from a remote station. Yeah? That's, and if, it might happen that we don't get it, then this is not really suitable. There are extensions for this. Yeah, There are extensions for this. Uh, for instance, CA. Yeah, There is also CA here, possible. Collision avoidance. Yeah the higher priority keeps sending. Okay, so there's a priority between the nodes and the, the higher priority node. If a collision is detected, the, the, minor, the minor node will shut up. <laughs> so, then these, those things are also fit. Yeah? But a lot of field bus systems, because of this uh, 
of this real-time capability are working with primary, secondary or token passing system. Access control. All right. Next time we are going to talk about you know, different terms they are usually there in, in, in field bus technology. Yeah? What is a transfer rate? What is a uh, what is exchangeability? What is uh, a repeater? What is a gateway? And uh, stuff like this. Uh, names and, and, and we will also then decide what things to look at if we have to select a certain field bus system for our application. Right? This will then be next time. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.